He is known for his important contributions to the experimental study of bodily functions, animal reproduction, and animal echolocation. He is recognized for paving the way for the downfall of the theory of spontaneous generation through his research on biogenesis. His name is Lazaro Spallanzani. In the realm of scientific inquiry, one name stands out, Lazaro Spallanzani, an Italian Catholic priest, biologist, and physiologist. Born in Scandiano, Italy, Spallanzani's groundbreaking research forever changed our understanding of bodily functions, animal reproduction, and animal echolocation. At the time, the prevailing belief was in spontaneous generation, the idea that living organisms could emerge from inanimate matter. Spallanzani's meticulous experiments and observations challenged this notion. His research on biogenesis, the theory that living organisms can only come from other living organisms, paved the way for the eventual downfall of spontaneous generation. In his influential book, Experiencias para Server a la Historia de la Generación de Animales y Plantas, published in 1786, Spallanzani documented his most important works. He conducted experimental demonstrations that showcased the process of fertilization between ova and spermatozoa, as well as groundbreaking in vitro fertilization experiments. Spallanzani's contributions laid the foundation for future scientists, including the renowned French scientist Louis Pasteur, who would ultimately deliver the final blow to the theory of spontaneous generation. Spallanzani's work not only advanced our understanding of reproduction but also highlighted the importance of rigorous experimentation and observation in scientific inquiry. Lazzaro, a brilliant Italian scientist, made a groundbreaking discovery in the 18th century that challenged the prevailing belief of spontaneous generation. Back then, researchers like Buffon and Needham believed that certain inorganic matter possessed a life-generating force, causing microbes to spontaneously appear given enough time. But Lazzaro was determined to prove them wrong. Using a microscope, Lazzaro conducted his first scientific work in 1765, titled Sagio di Osservazioni Microscopiche Concernenti il Sistema della Generazione de Signori di Needham e Buffon. In this work, he presented a systematic rebuttal of the theory of spontaneous generation. His experiment involved boiling the material for an hour, which destroyed any microbes present. To his amazement, when the material was hermetically sealed, the microbes did not reappear. Lazaro concluded that the microbes must be moving through the air and that boiling could kill them. This challenged the notion that spontaneous generation was an inherent feature of matter. While Needham argued that Lazaro's experiments destroyed the vegetative force necessary for spontaneous generation, Lazaro's findings paved the way for future research. His work laid the foundation for Louis Pasteur, who would eventually disprove the theory of spontaneous generation almost a century later. Lazzaro Spallanzani's contributions were immense, as his experiments and observations challenged long-held beliefs and set the stage for a new era of scientific understanding. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.